Uh, hello there. Uh, today I'm just going to uh, do a ICT paper on document production, data manipulation, and presentations. But I'm just going to be doing the mail merge part in the presentations. So we're doing the May June 2019 series with so 0417 slash 22. It's been a long time since I've come back to making this video. So let's start by doing uh, the mail merge task. Okay. So. Uh, Task 5 shows a mail merge. You are uh, required to carry out a mail merge, create a mail merge letter using the file j229letter.rtf as master document and the j229guest.csv as your data source file. Replace the text and chevrons uh, in the master document with the merge fields from the data source. You have, a, you have the table. So now what you need to do is to open this file letter. Okay, so we're just going to check this out. Uh, I have saved this in my source folder already uh let me just check where i have saved this most probably i've saved this somewhere here so oh yeah there there you go j229 letter so this is the letter that we need to edit okay so uh we're going to just check this out like uh what are the things that we need to check in this paper right so we need to make uh the tle have runs okay so uh, what I would like you guys to do first and foremost is to uh, understand what the task is saying okay so we have to change TLE and replace it with the merge field title okay so because you can see here it's title first becomes first name family becomes family name address one becomes road address two is area so you're gonna check cross check with the document. So my title TLE, okay, this title. Okay, first you need to put in mailings. Go to mailings, select recipients, use an existing list. So it's saying use guest.csv as your uh, as the uh, let's say as the source document, okay. So uh, what we have here, guest.csv, okay, as a source document. After that, you open. Uh, okay, you're going to highlight TLE, and you're going to say insert merge field title. Go to first. Okay, just drag it there and uh, insert first name. Family should be your uh, family name, okay? address one remember I said address one was road in the paper and you can see here it's road yes correct it's road okay so go back to mailings address two is area uh, let's check our area there you go address three address three I'm just gonna drag it there for some reason it's a bit difficult to drag it but you get the idea that address 3 should be county post should be a post is postcode well, let me just cross check that uh, if post yes it's postcode now the next one's code mem code length is duration the means theme mth month the ISC is discount okay so we're going to check that again we know that TLE is uh, is title we know that family is family name and code is going to be what is code code is mem code right yeah it's mem code then we're going to change this and we're going to make this little length we're going to make a duration so this is what what it means by placing these in chevrons, okay? So THE's theme, okay, we're gonna just check that in. Empty hatch is month, so we can put that there too. So it's month, and the disc is discount, so we're just going to put discount. So there you have it, we have all the chevrons being placed, right? right? So okay, that, that's great. Now, uh, your next thing to do in the paper is to uh, make sure that the spacing, punctuation, alignment, and enhancements in the original master document are maintained. Replace the text candidate name with your name. Okay, so when you go back there, you're going to replace the candidate name 
with your name so I'm just gonna put my name as David because my name is David so you just put your name there include your name center number and candidate number in the footer of the document so you put insert have they mentioned where should it be right align center line no they haven't mentioned so you can just place it in somewhere in the footer so choose footer go to insert tab go to footer and always choose three columns because they align it really perfectly okay so we're gonna put our name so David and you know, now you're gonna enter your center number which should be about uh, any number that is given on the day of the exam you have to write it down close header and footer there you go footer is there next part is to print out five make sure that you have entered your name center number and candidate number so you're gonna print this out you go to file go to print and you're going to print this document out that's it so that's you have to do it on the day of the exam when you have it okay so now send an automated filter to select members where the theme is taster. Okay, how you're going to do this is that you're going to go back to mailings. You're going to go to edit recipient list. It should create a table mail merge recipients. What you're going to do is you're going to go to filter and you're going to create the theme. We have to search for the theme, right? So we go to the query options by clicking on filter here and theme should be equal to taster and you click OK. So now you see that it's reduced the number of letters that are being sent. We're going to cross check again. So it's going to be sent to Lee, Meluk, and Kat. Uh, sorry about uh, pronunciation for this name. I'm just going to call her uh, Colin or her, her Nowak. Okay. So uh, so it's three letters. So June, April, May. Taster, taster, taster. Okay, that's that's great. So you just click OK. I mean, uh, now what you need to do is you have to place an evidence, a screenshot to show the use of the automated selection method. This is for two marks. Now, what you have to do is that this is, it shows the edit the recipient list. You just have to show this option here. Just show the query options and how you have done that. Just click a screenshot of this and save it in your file. And as well as just in case you take a screenshot of this table as well. Okay, so now uh, uh, now print out six merge and print the letters for selected members only. Save and close the files. How you're going to do this is that you're going to just click uh, finish and merge. You can either go to print documents, but in this case, I'm just going to show you all the letters that we have printed out. So as you can see, this is printed for Mr. Lee Chen. This is for Miss uh, Mr. Miluk. Uh This is for Miss Kataraz Knight. No, I think. Uh, okay, so it printed these letters. You just go to file, just print, print out all these letters out with your name, center number, and candidate number. That's it. There you go. You scored the marks. I'm not gonna save this, but you get the idea. That's your printout six. Now, next one is your printing the evidence document. This is a collection of the work you have done with a databases as well as Word document. Now we're just going to move on to the presentation part. You're going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting unless otherwise instructed. Slides should be formatted to display a title and bulleted list. So you're going to create a presentation of five slides using the file j229swot.rtf. On slide one, enter your name after the text present presented by. Okay, so you're just going to open PowerPoint. You're going to uh, click on open going to click on browse wherever you have saved your file so we're just going to open up what file again it is a j229 swot so we're just going to open up the resources well now it's not appearing here so you just click on this and click on all files so that you get to see all the files that are stored on the source files right so you have this file it's an rtf j229 SWOT. So you open it up and there you go. You get a presentation made for about five slides all perfectly placed in. Okay. Now you have to enter your name, right? Presented by, just put a space. Uh, you can just write your name there. So I'm just going to write David there. So now use a master slide to display only the following features on all slides. Your name, center number and candidate number automatic slide numbers so they have not mentioned where do we have to place these but I'm just gonna go to insert header and footer slide number footer just put your name your center number your candidate number and apply no actually you don't do this now cancel sorry you do this by going to view you go to slide master sorry guys and now you go to insert header and footer, slide number, footer, put your name there, and put your center number as well, uh, just in case. Uh, center number is 670. Uh, and your candidate number, 
apply to all and there you go now remember I have they mentioned anything format the first slide so that a title slide so we have entered our name automatic slide numbers that's great now format the first slide so that the title slide is applied the title and subtitle are centered in the middle of the slide or mark we're gonna go to view normal click on this and you can just go to here and office theme so we just click title slide this is all center aligned as you can see this is center aligned and this is as well center aligned so that's perfect one mark scored there next part is add the following text as presenter speaker notes for the slide with the title threats can ne ne negatively affect perceptions of cruising right so now th this is a portion where you have to uh, write it down on the day of the exam so threats where is that go to notes presenters notes just paste it there uh, make sure your name are on the slide right so you're just going to print this specific slide remember print only this slide as presenter or speaker notes okay so you're just going to go to file print you're just going to print the notes page so you're just going to print this and, and your name should appear as well on the on the uh, portion there so i just want to check if the name appears on this uh yes it appears here so you can just go here go to header and footer click on footer put your name put your center number uh Put your center number as let's say and put your candidate number apply to all so there you have it stored there and you can just print the slide only okay got it okay so now save the presentation print the presentation as a handout using a layout of six slides to the page and make sure your sent name center number and candidate number are all, are all on the slides are on all the slides so six slides to the page you go to file again go to print change the notes make it six slides uh, horizontal so there you go you have all of them uh, uh, printed out just go again click on footer apply to all just in case if uh, if they ask us to print this apply to all so that we have our values here you just print it out and that that's it I mean you just print that with six slides I, I think that's it for one mark total six marks it's fairly pretty easy this presentation for this paper is 2019 okay I'm going to go over the document production and the uh, data access on, in the next videos. So I, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.